How do I make a spot purchase on Blowfin? Today, guys, I am going to show you exactly how to do this. We will now take a look at how we physically buy those projects. For that, of course, we will come over here into the spot tab. So when we do come into the spot tab here, one thing that is often asked, how do we change this into dark mode? Then it's very simple here on the Bluefin exchange. The little moon symbol up here, clicking that, will transform this into the better on the eyes appearance, in my opinion, which is of course dark mode. But this exchange has a lot to offer, especially when looking to buy the spot pairings. Now for this instance, we will take a look at Solana paired up with USDT. This is the spot chart. And what we can see is an easy to navigate platform. We can have a look first of all here at the trading view chart. Should you wish to do some charting for the USDT pairing of Solana here before you look for an investment, perhaps you're looking to snipe an entry, we can start to tailor up some points where we may look for an entry point on Solana for that spot purchase. A fantastic addition here is that trading view platform integrated into the Blowfin exchange. Moving forward, we may want to look at the order book. This is where people are looking to buy and sell their positions of Solana. Of course, more sell positions typically tells us the market is coming down. More buy positions here typically tells us we're expecting the market to move to the upside. Just a very simple move in the market we can see just through that order book. But perhaps we're looking to snipe an entry and we're looking to pick up somebody's sell order for the quantity of Solana that we're looking to purchase. So, what we're going to have a look at here is how to buy Solana on Blowfin. There are of course two simple ways of doing this. First of all, we'll take a look at Limit. If we wish to pick up Solana, we can currently see trading at $142.53. We're gonna have a look at that order book and perhaps see some interesting sell areas. And there may be an interesting buy there. Let's just say we see an, a sell area around about $140. That's the area we're looking to enter into Solana with that $1,000 that we did deposit onto the exchange. We could see at that point we would pick up 7.14 Solana tokens. And yes, we can see a vast amount of Solana being sold a little bit higher. But over time, we would see the price come down, gravitate towards our buying order if the markets are in the right condition and fill that 7.142 Solana requirement. But there is also another easier, perhaps simpler way of buying that Solana and that's clicking this market tab. What we can see once again here is the price of Solana sitting at $142. Should we look to purchase on the market position, which Whatever the market is currently sitting at, it will fill the order that you place here. So let's just say we're looking to pick up that seven Solana. The price will automatically gravitate towards the nearest entry point to fill our order. In simple terms, we're looking to buy seven Solana. The price will gravitate towards these sell orders to fill out the order that we have got placed here. It's very simple, but the chances are you won't get the most optimal price placing it at market. Placing a limit, you will have a set price that you're looking to buy. If you place it via market, the market will gravitate towards the nearest point that will fill your order. So understanding how the market and limit does work when looking to place an order on Blowfin is crucial. And of course, this applies when looking to sell. Let's just say we're looking to sell that Solana that we just picked up. We've picked up seven Solana and we're looking to sell this at approximately $150. We could see at that point we would be in $50 gain from the area that we did pick it up. This here again, we are placing a limit sell order. We're looking for the price to eventually gravitate towards the $150 level for the Solana pairing. At this point, we would then have our order filled. But again, there's also the more simpler solution here, and that's that market price. We could sell Solana at the current market price. Then what we can see is $142.59. When we're looking to sell on the market, the price will gravitate towards the closest buy order that is currently listed there. So once again, you may not get the optimal opportunity for selling. The optimal price of Solana will not be there when selling or purchasing on the market position. So understanding the vast difference between market and limit orders.